Hey guys, so it's been a few months since I started my Discord colony up, and it has been growing at a steady pace. I wanted to share with you guys a few additional things that I learned along the way. Before we start, for those of you who are new to the channel, consider subscribing for more videos in the future like this. Things we are going to talk about today are growth projection, additions to their enclosure, a more in-depth look at sexing them, their maturity rate, and what I have learned about their mating ritual. So let's start off with what changes I have made to the enclosure since my breeding video, and what mistakes I have made as well. So I got some suggestions from Luna Roaches, and they have turned out to be great. I added coconut fiber to the bottom of the enclosure. Turns out they absolutely love it. However, my coconut fiber was too moist at first. It was causing condensation to build up on the sides. I gave it a good squeezing, and that solved the issue. But oftentimes, I find adults digging, and if I handle them and place them back, they normally dig right out of sight. It absorbs and retains moisture well, so it should make managing the humidity a bit easier if you live in a low humidity place. Another thing Luna Roaches suggested to me was to not clean out the roach frass, and that it is good for the babies to eat as it helps build their immune system and gut bacteria. As he put it, it is roach gold. It collects in the bedding and you don't really notice it and it creates no smell. While we are on the topic of the floor, that is also where your nymphs will spend the majority of their time until they get a bit bigger. I have placed some bedding in the sifter to show you some of the small nymphs. There are a lot of them scattered about the mulch. This is just some. On the topic of nymphs, they grow at a reasonable rate. However, it does take them quite some time to reach maturity. Depending on conditions, such as the availability of good food, constant water source, and proper heating, they can take upwards of four to five months to fully mature into winged adults that can live for a year or a bit longer. While they start off small, they grow very fat and have decent weight to them. Now for the adults. In my last video, I showed a few examples of a single male and female. I have separated out the adults from the larger nymphs I'm going to sex them on screen and also show you an easy way of handling them to hold them still without having to apply much pressure. I use two hands and either hold the roach sort of like a sandwich or cup it into the palm of my hand exposing the bottom of its abdomen. Like I said in my last video, males have segmented plates towards the end of the roach's abdomen, while females have one very large plate. Another difference that can be noticed in males is that they are typically lighter on their underbelly, exhibiting more yellows, visible stripes, and patterning, while the females are generally fatter, especially when they are pregnant, which also makes them weigh more by default. Female underbellies are almost all black. Some may have some yellowy, but the singular plate is the giveaway until you can sex them by color. You can sex large nymphs in the same manner as I am showing you now. In total, I have 14 adults. Six of them were female, eight of them were male. If the average female produces around 30 nymphs every 30 to 45 days, I should be getting around 120 to 200 nymphs, give or take, every 45 days. Once the colony has been established for one year and no feeding off of any roaches, my colony should grow rapidly. I am estimating a colony of around 300 adults by July, as I am expecting at least another 100 before the end of the year, who should have fully matured by then. If my colony is exactly one for one, male to female, which it won't be, but for ease of math, with 150 roaches doing the very bottom end of what they lay, which is 20, I'm looking at potentially 3,000 roaches a month once I hit my goal. If I create more bins from there, more and more growth. Within the next two years, I am hoping to have a business established and this channel as a guide all the way up from turning this from being a simple hobby to a potential career. If you believe in me, show your support in the comments. Our last topic is going to be what we have learned about their mating, which I have found to be quite interesting. I have yet to see a pair in the act. I don't have enough adults to have it happening enough for me to capture it. All in due time, I have figured out the fluttering of the wings has to do something with mating. The roaches will flutter its wing and then turn itself around with its wings raised and back into the other. I have heard their mating is done rear to rear. I believe they release a pheromone or something the other roaches can detect. Just speculation. Or fanning something that builds up under their wings to signal that a male is here. There is also this cool little dance they will do while following a female if she walks away or ignores him. It's almost as if he gets Get super excited when noticing a female. They are very determined once they start this. He will keep trying. We videoed these guys for a good 20 minutes doing this, trying to catch something. Seeing this is common, I just haven't seen the actual mating. Perhaps I can include that in a coming update on the colony. They are growing so fast. I started with just 3 females, 3 males, and 16 nymphs. 
Maybe you guys can follow along with what I have learned and watch them grow. But that about wraps it up. If you have it in your critter loving heart, give me a like, a subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos in the future like this. As always, from the gizzards and I, have a wonderful day.